Okay, guys, so uh, today we're going to continue um, going back to our wall chart. First activity today is to fill it in the way we did on the worksheet on Friday. First thing we do is we're putting in our forms of Zoom. So, we do Zoom today. We'll add Possum at a later date. Go like this. And it's basically going to line up with that. So we have the same thing here. The thing about Zoom is it's only in the active, right? So I literally can just go like this. Oops. Not gonna be easy to grab this here. There we go. So it's only in the active. Um, by doing it only in the active, um, man, I hate everything I did there. Uh, the thing about it being active only, they're active only. Um, what we get is this, present tense. So we're going to zoom in. And if you remember, we did, you have Zoom, you have Iram, have your row. So I'm going to move it over. Just give me just a little hair of room here. Because it, it's got to be just singular and plural. I'm going to put in the English. I'll put it in a different color. I am. I was. I will be. Good. Fill it in. Zoom as asked. Sumus Estes Sunt um, Iram Eras Erat Ramos Eratus Erat Ero Eris Erit Er emus, er itis, er unt. Okay, now if we forgot what we just did when we reviewed on Friday, this is the present, this is the imperfect, and that's the future. Good. Now, what's beautiful about that is when I do the perfect, the blue perfect, and future perfect, we end up with this. Remember, you're gonna use the fourth principal part, and the fourth principal part, and this is really simple. It's a matum, but we're going to use um, the masculine, um, a matus and a mati. So, we're gonna have to make these kind of small, but I'm gonna go a matus here, Amati over here. Singular, plural, right? Now it would be three times. So if I did it like this, Amatus, Amatus, Amati. And so it's singular and plural. If these were feminine words, if it was feminine, it'd be Amata, Amatai. Let me just do this for a second. I'm going to kill that for a second. I'm going to Copy, because we're going to use it for all three tenses. Paste. Paste it again down here. You can do the same thing here. And of course, you can look at your notes just to make sure you have this right. And you'll be able to go back and slowly redo this in your time. So what have I got here? I've got the perfect, the pluperfect, and the future perfect passive. But it's not completed yet. Why? because I have to add the forms of sum. So watch what I can do. I can copy, paste. And so remember, they're disconnected. Copy, paste. Right? So there's a space between a mati and the end. I'm going to copy, 
paste. And if this gets a little bit too jammed up, I can move it over, or I can even go like this. I can actually, um, if I use the boxing one, I can actually shrink them down just to here, give myself just a little extra room. Like that. Um, same thing here if I need to. And then, copy, paste it in, make it a little smaller. Move it over a little bit. Remember, the, the big thing here is that they just can't be touching. And what some guys do is they'll take and they'll put a little dotted line down the middle so they remember these things aren't together, you know. Um, and there's just a space there. Let me do the same thing here. Copy. Paste. I can imagine if you weren't here on Friday, you'd be like, oh man, I'm so lost. Well, that's what happens. Um, hmm. Oh no, that's not doing it. Copy. Folks, life is terrible. Paste. There we go. Go like that. Okay. Remember our translations for these things. So this now becomes, I have been blanked, in this case, loved. I, the word we have to always have, had been blanked. Of course, I, you, he, sure, it, we, you, or they. And I will have been blanked. Um, so... That's what you should have done for this part of the your chart at this point. We're going to go back in the second video today and talk about how this all works. But remember what you basically have is this. You have I am, I was, and I will be. These words right here, right? Um, these translations. I am, I was, and I will be. And what you're... What you've been able to do now is take this and um, you have the ability to say the fourth principal part, having been loved. That's what a mantra is. That's what the fourth principal part of a verb does, a mantra. It means having been whatever. In this case, having been loved. So the Roman would say, a mantra sum, I am having been loved. Or like Yoda would say, having been loved I am. And that means, I have been loved. And then the good Yoda Latinist would say, Amata Saram, having been loved, I was, which means I had been loved. And then the good Yoda Latinist would say, having been loved, I will be. And that is, in English, I will have been, I don't like the way I wrote it, I will have been, Loved. Um, okay, so first thing to do, fill in this part of your chart. Again, submit the video, a picture of your full chart. Remember, if you're doing this on uh, a file, you have to print up the file. Like I would print that page and show me a picture of your printed page. Um, because when you bring this into school and we're back in class, you can bring the pages if you did it here or you did it on cardboard. Um, and you can print it up. Now, if you're doing a big wall chart, you can take pictures of your wall chart, print them through Notability, and bring the printed pages. But it has to be hand-produced. It has to be personally produced. And that is your own... Your, so it's something you can work with. So, so far we have the nouns, first, second, and third declension. We have the pronouns. Ego, to, no, suos. Isse, id, ele, alud, hekaikok, qui, quai, code. We have all the active tenses, all the passive tenses of, of amont, and we have the present and perfect and future of ero, uh, soon, excuse me. So finish this, send me your picture one more time for credit, and then we go on to the 